Hello and welcome to Stuart Warren RC. We did think about changing the name to RC Warren, but I put that out to you guys and you said no, stick with uh, Stuart Warren RC, so that's what I'm doing. Quick update for you guys, the weather is terrible outside. We've had a few storms blow through, we're still feeling that effect. It's cold, that's why I'm still wrapped up in my, um, in my coat and hat and uh, it's been blowing a gout and very very wet and windy and um, so it's not very good weather for flying for sure uh, also laser engine that laser 100 i'm still waiting to hear back from the laser engines in the uk they did tell me that they're very very busy but they will get around to it so fingers crossed we'll hear more on that engine soon anyway this is going to serve to be a introduction or part one if you like for the restoration um series that i want to kick off as you know i've got a lot of secondhand models and uh, i really enjoy restoring them and bringing them back to life and this particular model behind me is what we're going to start with this is the sig yak 18 um, and out of all of them this is low hanging fruit uh, fruit it needs very little in the way of uh, work to get it flying again and we're going to go into those details right now so this is sig this is an american company this is kit made you can tell it's kit made because if you look on some of the formers there you might just be able to make out some numbers if I get in there. Well, anyway, this is kit made and it's a very unusual model actually. This came out in the late 70s. So this is a very old kit. Now SIG made some very popular models like for example, my uh, spacewalker that you see here. That's the uh, next restoration project, I think. Third scale spacewalker from SIG. Um, they made uh, some very, very popular models, but this wasn't really one of them. Bit of a strange one, the SIG 18. It's 72 inch span, which I think is around 1700 millimeters. Uh, it's a Russian subject, which are always a little bit left of field. And um, it was unusual in America to see this, so it's extremely unusual to see one over here in the UK. I didn't know what this was until I did a little research on it, and I've got some information playing over here, but a very old model, but in relatively good condition. And I got it at a really good price. It came with uh, part of the deal with this Hawker Hurricane. This is a uh, Brian Taylor Hawker Hurricane, and I got this model for 30 pounds. Now it's really, really good just for the model, but when you consider it's also got all the servos installed as well, that's a very good deal. Now looking around it, you're, the obvious thing is yes, it's you know a bit tatty looking, it's a bit dirty, but when I actually got up close to it, now I was, I was just going to sell this on, but I started to think, well, it's actually it's actually very, very well built. Uh, it's finished in solar text. You can see, probably see a bit of the ribbing there. Um, and it's nicely built. Now, the guy that I brought it from, he had uh, begun to start doing some uh, conversion to it to make it electric. And if I, if I lift this hatch up here, he had almost hacked away at a, at a hatch. And uh, there's the, the beginnings of a hatch that you can see there. And... Um, He'd also done this standoff for the motor, which is of course terrible, I'm gonna change that. Um, and it was originally designed for a nitro engine, probably like a 60 to 90 size nitro engine. But what I am actually gonna do, I am gonna go with a 6S setup in this, I think. Similar to uh, maybe Avios Spitfire size or Flightline Spitfire size. I've got a similar size motor that I plan to bolt onto the front there. Well, I'm gonna remove this and bolt that onto the front. And actually, if you look at it, 6S pack, does just just about fit in there so i'm pretty sure that will work um as to the work that needs doing on the model um i'm gonna clean it it does need a good clean i'm gonna check the airframe i think it's pretty much solid so it did come with servos pre-installed if i turn this around here sorry if i'm rushing i've got to get to a parents evening so i'm just going to rush through this he's already installed the servos in the towel here there's very little in the way of slop on those. And these servos, these are uh, JR servos. I think they will run on six uh, cells, um, sorry, five cells, six volts, nickel metal hydride. That's what I'm gonna run. I'm gonna have a Opto ESC, probably around 60 or 80 amps in here. And um, I'm gonna run that with a five cell nickel metal hydride. As you can see inside, it's pretty solid. It is a very solid airframe. Servos at the tower I'm gonna leave. Uh, all I'm really going to concentrate on, and this is what I mean by low hanging fruit, I'm going to concentrate on, if I turn that over, tidying up the top here, tidying up the hatch, I'll probably cover this in solar text and paint it again. I'm obviously going to change this uh, block of wood here. It, there's a lot of holes in the firewall, so I'm going to fill those in with dowel, sand that flush. It does already have the down and side for us built in, I think. Then I just need to make some decent standoffs and that will fit uh, in there nicely. 
the 6S pack works well. This is the cow. This cow is amazing. I didn't actually think this was part of the, the original kit, but I found pictures. This is a solid spun aluminium cow, and it's quite heavy. Um, but there's a lot of room under there for motors and ESCs. You can actually see he's done a reasonable job of putting this thing together. It does look, if you can see there, yeah, you can see that it's that it's quite ancient looking and and all those chips of paint and everything else i think i might actually keep i like the look of those it gives it a authentically used look now what this guy did do he did do a patch here you can see that there if i turn it over on the cow you can see that someone has patched this uh, probably the guy before that i got it on so it did have a, a glow engine in it i'm pretty much going to leave that as it is it's not great but it's all part of the effect of the model. Now, if I take this, oh, sorry, I'm trying to do this whilst holding the camera, I should really get a, a tripod. But does that give you some idea of how that? That gives you some idea of the fuselage. It is ugly. It's uh, it's got the kind of beauty over only a mother would love. Um, but a Yak-18 Russian aircraft, they're they're built to be you know functional rather than uh, attractive, and this is not the most attractive. But it definitely has its quirks. So that's all I really need to do on the fuselage, if I can get that cowl off. I will need to polish up the canopy. I'm going to uh, clean that up. I'll probably take this canopy off, put a hat on the guy. This poor, poor, poor guy's lost all of his hair. And then I'll go over this with trim tape again to make that look all nice. It's actually done a really good job on the finish. Look at that um, covering there on the, on the numbering and the all the graphics at the back there. Uh, fortunately, there's no holes in the covering. It does need re-shrinking down and we'll cross that uh, bridge when we come to it with a, a covering iron or a heat gun. Now the wing, um, it has air retracts in it, which of course I am going to remove, but the wing is in very, very good condition. These are the air retracts. I've got uh, retracts from uh, um, a similar size Spitfire that I'm gonna put in there, electronic retracts. These are the struts for it, as you can see, so they, kind of end up being semi retracted into the wing there and there's cutouts for it. Now the flap is pretty cool. It's just a single flap in the middle. And if I can put that up there and actuate it, let's see. Oh, right, there we go. It's a bit sticky. But it's just got one single flap in the middle, which I actually really, really like. Uh, and again, the servos are all there. Um, these will run on uh, five cells. So I'm pretty happy with that. You could strip this down if you wanted to. You could completely strip it down and I've got a very solid airframe and it could look gorgeous. But I want to keep it a little bit used looking so I'm just going to clean it up. Um, the covering's good, it's Solatex. I love that uh, covering, very, very good. There is a bit of lifting. If you come around here, you can see that the covering has started to lift a bit. I think you can just see that there. Just starting to lift. But I'll put that back down with a covering iron and uh, basically clean it up. Take out this servo for the retracts, they're no longer needed. And uh, this should be a pretty easy job. Uh, certainly I've got the weather for it right now. The weather is not good, so it's perfect to be inside. What I'll do in part two, I'll probably uh, go through what I've done and I'll cut to cutaway footage uh, of that so you can see a little bit of um, what I've been doing to the model and I can talk you through it uh, But that's essentially it a little bit rough and dirty uh, update here. Well, it's not an update It's the opening part of the first restoration of a model and it is this SIG uh, Yak uh, 19 Yak 18 PS strange one, but uh should be a good model and with the retracts. It should be a lot of fun I think my success proposed success setup will be good and um, I'm looking forward to this. This should be quite quick. And I look forward to giving you guys an update in part two as and when it comes, uh, hopefully not too far away. So wish me luck and I'll keep you guys posted. I'll also post some updates, I think on Stuart Warren RC Facebook page, so just so you can see the progress when there's not videos out there. I'm gonna end this video now because my wife is looking at me, pointing at the watch, not at this clock, because that is wrong. That's why it's upside down, telling me it's time to go. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked, please like, thumbs up. If you didn't, Thumbs down, that's fine. Leave comments. Um, uh, I always try and respond to those comments and I appreciate your views and your subscriptions. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.